Hi, my name's Sean Lake and I'm the Senior Curator of Photography here at the National Gallery of Australia. Um, speaking to you uh, on the land of the Ngunnawal and Ngambri people uh, and pay my respects to Ngunnawal and Ngambri elders, past, present and future. Um, it's a real pleasure to come to you today uh, where it's really warm and uh, countries feeling very energised. Uh, I am a cis male, um, very tall. Uh, I am wearing black glasses, which I need to read. Uh, I've got short hair. Um, I'm non-Indigenous and I'm wearing a black shirt. And I'm here today to talk with Gail Lake from the National Film and Sound Archive uh, about Tracy Moffat's films. Uh, I'm talking from the point of view of a photo person, but I'm really interested in her video uh, artwork as well. And Gail will talk about um, Tracy's amazing film work. Gail, did you want to introduce yourself as well? Yep. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Gail Lake. I am the chief uh, curator at the National uh, Film and Sound Archive. Um, I have um, been with the archive now for about eight years. Um, I am um, also wearing glasses. Um, I have grey hair and uh, I'm wearing a white shirt. So <laughs> uh, Sean and I are, are very monochrome today. <laughs> um, and so I have, yes, as I said, I've been with the archive um, for eight years and um, I oversee the curatorial and accessioning collection which looks at building the uh, National Audiovisual Collection. And what's brought us here today is the screening of uh, Tracy Moffat's amazing film, The Devil, from 1983. The way that that screening through the National Film and Sound Archive coincides with an exhibition that we've got here at the gallery called The Body Electric, which is part of our Know My Name project, which is a lot of the gallery being given over to celebrating the work of women artists, particularly Australian women artists. And Tracy's film, Other, is part of the film, The Body Electric. The Body Electric brings together work by uh, women artists working both here and internationally on the subjects of sex, desire and pleasure. All of the work uh, comes out of photo and video and Tracy's amazing uh, montage film, Other, uh, is a really important part of that exhibition. So the two sort of aspects of Tracy's film work uh, are being celebrated today. I'm just going to set Tracy up really as an artist. She's a, well, actually, she's probably, you know, Australia's most significant contemporary artist, really. I mean, the indicators for that would be that she, more than any other Australian artist, has um, been the subject of really sustained critical and curatorial and popular attention um, internationally since the 1990s. She studied kind of film and photo in Brisbane in the 1980s and was part of a really important generation of photographers really who circulated around in our city, Sydney, during the mid 1980s. She was the a founder, one of the founding members of a very important um, cooperative called Bumali, which was a First Nations, well, still is a First Nations uh, artist run space in Chippendale. During the 1980s, she really became, I think, most significant for her work uh, around photo, still photo, documentary photography uh, primarily. Um, but then in the late 80s, made a very, very significant. Uh, I guess, photographic work called Something More in 1989. Same year she did uh, a film which is equally significant in terms of the history of Australian visual culture, and that's Night Cry is a Rural Tragedy, which was shown at Cannes Film Festival the following year. So film and photo have been a really sort of important part of Tracy's practice from the start. And she's really interested in the history of cinema. She's really interested in the history, uh, the way that the history of cinema or historically cinema has kind of produced certain myths and certain ideas about the world and identity that she uh, continues to sort of unpick. And so Ada is a really great uh, example of Tracy's incredibly fabulous um, project, which over a 16 year period saw her and the editor Gary Hilberg work together making eight 
um, I guess artist videos is the best way to sort of characterize them, but they're sort of filmic montages um, that have uh, single word titles, artist, love, doomed, revolution, mother, other. What Gary and Tracy did was to go through sort of Hollywood cinema, uh, English cinema, Italian cinema, stealing fragments from films and slicing them together. So the fragments would all deal with the theme of the film, whether that's love or revolution. And that would create a kind of a narrative out of these fragments. And other is really interested in the way that cinema has produced a kind of idea of the other, uh, a primitive subject, a savage subject that's, that's in the process of being colonised. And the way that um, desire and sort of, uh, I guess a, a kind of um, a, a will to pleasure uh, becomes part of the colonial um, encounter. Uh, it's a really funny film. Tracy's work is full of great humour. She's very camp. Um, Gary's very camp too. So there's a lot of camp humour in the way that they kind of appropriate these images from, uh, found images from cinema and sort of splice them together to produce this kind of new narrative, which draws attention to the sort of terrible, horrible way that Hollywood uh, and other kind of cinema, uh, spaces of cinema have been responsible for producing sort of stereotypes that um, go to race and sexuality. It's a really interesting point, I think, um, in terms of trying to define Tracy because she has such a broad uh, and inquisitive um, perspective that has really framed her, um, her practice. Um, I find goes back to um, uh, nice coloured girls and even some of the um, the work, uh, video or documentary work um, that she had done previously um, during um, the 80s, um, you know, looking at uh, work that she had done for um, uh, the AIDS Council, the Western Australian Department of Women. Um, and indeed, I think, you know, um, her inquisitiveness to actually um, break a linear uh, storytelling was um, evident uh, back then and her certainly the way that she has um, even started off with um, in 1987 with Nice Colour Girls and um, she was very much um, um, looking to break those stereotypes uh, back um, at that point and certainly her you know her attitude to um, film form and how um, how a story could be told, because very much, uh, I think, whether it's where it, whether it's a photograph or a, a, a film, um, every frame matters, um, and you can take a um, a still um, a still frame out of a film, and it's going to have a very, I think, photographic um, perspective uh, to it, and combine that with a, juxt a juxtaposition of, of memory and uh, future. I think is really, um, you know, very very um, evident, and obviously the success of um, the critical success of The Devil when it was made and released um, is testament, I think, to that. Hey, look. I think the thing that I loved about um, and that I love about Tracy's work, there's almost, an, it's, it's well documented that she's exasperated with um, a particular reading of her work, although she is very keen not to, um, I guess, judge uh, in terms of people, in terms of people's um, interpretation. But I think that her, her films, all of her work, and particularly Bede Bedevil, is about the human condition. And sure, it's a um, it's a film that sits um, at, at perhaps alongside the horror genre because it doesn't actually sit within it because there are so many um, there are so many layers I think to the film and that is again a testament to her work as as an artist a visual artist a filmmaker um, and so it's it's a, it is really a very 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 good film. And I think people tonight will really understand um, why it was invited to the Cannes Film Festival. I find her work um, really invites um, the participant in. Um, you can't but help, um, I think, not be um, emotionally involved. I, f I, find her, I find all of her work um, very emotional 
and um, and fearless to some extent. Maybe I can just add something to what you just said, Gail, which is actually a really fascinating account of uh, the impact of Tracy's work on you sort of personally and emotionally. And that's just to, I guess, think about a little the significance of montage to Tracy's project, like in terms of the way that she brings uh, or her audience into her work, she does it by uh, one kind of not over determining a particular narrative. So everything's open, like Tracy's identity is always open. She's not, she refuses to be positioned in a very particular kind of way. And the work is always kind of open to multiple readings. And the, 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 the artist video works that I'm most interested in, such as other, uh, are kind of, you know, montages. And by that, she's like bringing together two fragments that don't necessarily make sense. And we kind of make sense of those fragments when they come together. So it's a very participatory uh, sort of mode that Tracy uses. And um, I think that's really important to, I think, account for the effectiveness of Tracy's work. And that is that, you know, structurally, um, she uses devices that kind of insist on us becoming really active in the process of looking at and engaging with the work. And also like the fact that memory is such an important part of her practice as well. Like all of her work kind of draws on memory, whether it's her memory or our memory. When you're looking at a film such as Other, your brain's working really hard trying to remember, you know, who is that actor? Who is, where is this scene from? You know, what is that film that she's kind of stealing that fragment from? So again, that's a very active process, but it's also about kind of your memory and Tracy's memory kind of, aligning and coming together so it's a it's a really beautiful practice and the way I'm just trying to pick up on something that you said that I think is very you know very pertinent it's just the way that her practice um you know kind of produces a very particular experience from you know for us as viewers as sort of participants that um that you know can in fact be very, you know be a very moving experience I think the the, the generosity of spirit that we're um that you know, is engendered into her work is um, is the reason why it still remains um, so um, effective, um, even with the devil made in 1993. I mean, here we are in in um, you know 2020, and there is still a richness to it, not only in terms of its construction, um, with its you know hyper real and uh, stylized. Um, uh, backdrops uh, against you know a, the very human the very human stories um, of you know being a three part portmanteau film. It gives you, uh, I believe, as a participant, as a viewer, um, because I think you have to be a participant in Tracy's films uh, because you're invited in, and there is no um, there is no other op you know opportunity except to accept that invitation because there is something so uh, joyously um, rewarding in going on the journey uh, with her that she's put um, that she's put before you and so you know the the beautiful tapestry of the the, the painted backdrops um, the constant references ag again to as you say um, film and to painting it's it's still an extraordinary film um, that very much um, speaks to us as a as a culture now as it did back in 1993. So the exhibition The Body Electric, which uh, features other, uh, is on display here at the National Gallery until the 27th of January next year. So uh, plenty of time to come and look at uh, Tracy's account of uh, the sexualized primitive other uh, as it's kind of seen through the the gaze of Hollywood cinema um, if you're here in Canberra at that time. Uh, so yeah, from the National Gallery of Australia, please enjoy, you know, the screening that you're about to experience and I'll throw over to Gail just to, to wrap up. Uh Thank you, Sean. Um, yes, look, I think, um, and I certainly hope um, that you really enjoy the film. Um, it It is so textured and um, so layered um, that I would really encourage people to um, uh, perhaps afterwards, um, if you're interested to go, there's a wonderful article from 2016 by Kate Robertson in Senses of Cinema. Um, and if you Google that, it is, um, you know, a really uh, wonderful uh, examination um, of the film. 
Um, but first, you've got to experience it because that's what Tracy is all about. So I do hope that you enjoy the film and uh, thank you for joining us.